Our 10th and final lecture video on rotational motion will cover pulleys. Belt drive pulleys are useful because they provide distance between the two shafts. In an open type pulley, the two shafts that the belts connect rotate in the same direction. However, to help reduce slippage or to change the direction of rotation, a cross type pulley or V-belt may be used. The basic formula we can use for pulleys looks very similar to the one for gears. The only difference is that when we are doing calculations with pulleys, we use the diameter of the pulley, and when we are doing calculations with gears, we use the number of teeth on the gear. Our basic equation is capital D times capital N equals lowercase d times lowercase n, where capital D is the diameter of the driver pulley, capital N is the number of revolutions per minute of the driver pulley, lowercase d is the diameter of the driven pulley, and lowercase n is the number of revolutions per minute of the driven pulley. Also, just like with gears, the capital letters are for the drivers and the lowercase letters are for the driven. If we have multiple pulleys, we will multiply capital N times D1 times D2 times D3 times D4, etc. And that equals lowercase n times D1 times D2 times D3 times D4, etc. Where all of the capital letters represent the driver pulleys and all of the lowercase letters represent the driven pulleys. Let's look at an example of a pulley calculation. Find the number of revolutions per minute of pulley D if pulley A rotates at 1,250 RPM. In this picture, we see that we have two separate belts, and that means that there are two driver pulleys and two driven pulleys. Let's write down all of the information we know. We know capital N, the speed of the driver, is 1,250 RPM. We are trying to find lowercase n, the speed of pulley D. We know the first driver pulley is pulley A, and it has a diameter, uh, capital D1, of 5.00 inches. Pulley A drives pulley B, which we will call lowercase d1, and it has a diameter of 20.0 inches. Pulley B and pulley C are on the same shaft, and they are not connected by a belt. Looking at the next belt, pulley C, which we will call capital D2, has a diameter of 10.0 inches. Pulley C drives pulley D, which we will call lowercase d2, and it has a diameter of 15.0 inches. Now that we have all of the driver and driven pulleys identified, we can write down the basic equation. Since we only have two belts, we need a D1 and a D2 in our equation. The basic equation is capital N times capital D1 times capital D2 equals lowercase n times lowercase D1 times lowercase D2. We need to rearrange the basic equation in terms of N, so we will divide both sides by lowercase D1 times lowercase D2. This gives us a working equation of lowercase n equals capital N times capital D1 times capital D2 divided by lowercase D1 times lowercase D2. Next, we will substitute in our data. So we have lowercase n equals 1,250 RPM times 5.00 inches times 10.0 inches divided by 20.0 inches times 15.0 inches. This should give you a speed for pulley D of 208 RPM. This concludes our discussion on pulleys and our unit on rotational motion.